Hi, in this problem we're going to use the second derivative test to attempt to find any local extrema or saddle points for this function. So the first step in using the second derivative test is to take both first derivatives with respect to x and y in this case and set them equal to zero. So we want all the first order partials. So in this case we have fx and we set that equal to zero. So fx is the partial with respect to x. So in this case, when we take the derivative with respect to x, all of this is going to be zero. So you just multiply two times negative four is negative eight, and then we get an x here. Subtract one from the exponent. So just use the power rule here, and all of this will be zero. So you set this equal to zero. Second step is to do the same thing with fy. In this case, anything that has an x, the derivative is going to be zero going to be zero here and this is going to be zero here so we simply get two times eight so 16 y and we set that equal to zero this is really easy to solve just divide by negative eight we get x equals zero divide by 16 so we get y equals zero so that's the first step in the second partials test this is what we're going to test we're going to test to see if this will give us a um, local maximum or minimum or a saddle point Second step in the second derivative test is to compute big D. So big D, I'm just going to say at AB, just to save ourselves some writing. So all of this is evaluated at AB, which this is going to be our AB. So big D, we're going to define that as FXX, again at AB, FYY, minus f of x, y squared. This is called the discriminant, okay? This is called the discriminant. And um, basically, if at a, b, this, this creature is positive and your second derivative with respect to x is positive, well, I just memorized it as it's backwards. In this case, you have a min okay, at a, b. If big D is positive, and fxx is less than zero, it's backwards. In this case, you have a max, again, at a, b. If big D is less than zero, you have what's called the saddle point, saddle point. And if big D is equal to zero, the test is inconclusive, so it doesn't work. So inconclusive. So no info in this case. So in our particular problem, we have fx equals negative 8x. I'm going to write that down over here. fx equals negative 8x. And then we have fy, and that's equal to 16y. Okay, so we basically now have to compute these other partials and plug them into this formula. So fxx, that's going to be negative 8. And then fyy, that's going to be 16. So now we'll compute big D. So big D, and I'm going to go ahead and put uh, the 0, 0 here to indicate that we're evaluating it there, even though um, it's not going to come into play. Oh, oh, we still need fxx, or F, fxy, rather. Well, if we take the partial of fx with respect to y, we just get 0. Okay, so this is fxx, the first one, so negative 8. fyy, so that's 16 and then minus, and then fxy, which is zero, so it'll just be zero squared. So it's eight times 16, so eight times 10 is 80, eight times six is 48, so 80 plus 48 is 128, and it's all negative. Oh, look at that, it's less than zero. That means we have a saddle point at zero, zero. So saddle point at zero, zero. That would be the location of the saddle point. If you actually wanted to find the actual, um, like three-dimensional point, you would plug it in. So you plug in the saddle point. So let's see. So f you plug in the zero zero into your function. F of x y here was um, let's see negative four x squared plus eight y squared. So let's find the actual saddle point. Plugging in zero zero, we would get negative four times zero squared plus eight times zero squared minus three, so we get negative three. 
So the saddle point is actually zero, zero, negative. Kind of cool, right? And it occurs at zero, zero. So really easy in this case, it wasn't really difficult. What separates these problems from easy and hard is how hard it is to solve step one. Step two is pretty easy. Um, sometimes the derivatives can get a little bit nasty, but hopefully this video has helped you a little bit. Good luck.